Hi everyone and welcome to another part of my get to work um, let's play and we're here with Rebecca and she is looking very much like I do on my first day back of work. She's looking really tense and really stressed. She's actually tense because of not enough exercise um, but she only has 14 minutes of that left. Now I think this is a little bit of a glitch because it keeps coming up with uh, that she's an active sim but she isn't. She's ambitious, busy, savvy, perfectionist and materialistic. So she's not actually an active sim which is a bit strange but never mind. <laughs> we should probably keep her active anyway. So we're with Rebecca today at work and um, she's just arrived and she needs to get a case assignment so let's do that and let's hope it's a bit more of a successful day's work um, because our last attempt when we had to do a patrol was not great. So hopefully one of these sims will get off the computer so that we can use it. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Who have we got here? Genesis, Brooks Chestain. I think they're all in our group. Oh, Brooks isn't. Hmm, who should we invite? Eliza Pancakes. She's a bit of a stalker though I've seen in other people's old place. Summer Holiday. She looks like a really nice sim so let's invite her. Rebecca has been assigned a new case. Use the crime map to travel to the scene of the crime and start the investigation. Okay so the map is usually on this board so we need to do that. Get criminals fingerprints at the booking station. Discuss case theories with co-workers. Let's have a little chat with Eliza then since she's basically come over to say hello to us. Yeah, in other people's Let's Play she's a bit of a stalker sim so I don't really want to get too um, friendly with her. So we'll discuss caseworkers. Um, and then yeah, let's travel to the crime scene. Okay, we're at the crime scene. Uh, you can find clues that will help you track down a suspect, investigate damaged or stolen objects and search for clues on the ground nearby to uncover more evidence. Also talk with the witnesses to get a report about what happened. So it's pretty much like what we did on our first day. So it's not the same house for a moment there. I thought it was the same house, but it's not. So let's see. We've got Eliza with us and Eric Lewis. Let's see if we can find any damaged objects. Let's just see if we can click on ourselves. No. Um. Oh, people crying. Bless them. Oh, who's crying? Where are you? Oh, she's just sitting there. Oh, here we go. Who are you? Just have to pause it because she's walking away. Oh, who's this? Oh, she's an officer. But she also appears to be a bit of a victim as well. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Um, take a witness report. Who is this? This is Matteo Wilhelm. Oh, we know Matteo. Oh, that's quite nice. Well, it's sad that this has happened to him, but... Uh, nice that we know. We have a little bit of um, previous experience with Matteo. Yep, we've taken a witness report. Who's this? Jesse East and Matthew East. Looks like somebody's um, torched their DJ booth. If any of you watch my get together let's play you'll know um, that I had a very <laughs> traumatic experience with a DJ booth that set on fire and killed one of the main sims in the LP. Matthew provided some valuable information on the crime. Nice. Did we get one from Jesse? Let's try again. Oh, Lydia's going to work. Oh, this looks like it might be damaged as well. The TV. What did that say? Jesse. Yeah, she provided some valuable information as well. 
take more crime scene pictures. What else has been damaged? Search for clues. Oh yes, we're supposed to search for clues near the eye objects, aren't we? Oh. We found something. We found a glove. Good work. That's so cool. I love that. Okay, we are done here. Let's return to the police station. I feel like we've had a really good day's work. So far, so good. Okay, we are at the police station. Uh, she wanted to chat with Julia. We're not going to chat with Julia. We're going to cross-reference the police database. Use the computer to cross-reference. Cross-reference. <laughs> Photos or witness reports. You might find per pertinent information for your case. Analyse evidence and take a police report from a civilian. Okay, maybe that's why she was going to talk to Julia. So let's go do that. She is definitely going to have a good day today. It's not even 11 o'clock and she's really done well on her bar. She's still feeling tense from being materialistic. Yeah, she is actually materialistic, so that's fair enough. Are you fresh at the academy? At least you can put on a uniform. Right side out. That's a start. All right, I need to report a crime. You see there has been a theft. My heart. Okay, Julia. There's no need to be snooty. We're only trying to help. Uh, so let's analyse some evidence. Let's analyse whatever they are. Who are you? Yusuf Pool. We could have a little chat with uh, Genesis while we're um, doing that. Oh, we don't want to hug her. We're not that friendly. Let's praise her work ethic. What are you doing going up there? Ah, there's a spare one here. Let's ask her about her salary. It's a bit rude. Compliment outfit. <laughs> Even though we're all wearing the same. Yeah, I've just been to your husband's house and you've been <laughs> robbed or at least somebody's tried to burn it down and she's just stood here like, oh, okay, thanks for letting me know. The lab tech come over for a little gossip. Let's go and do our analysis. We can chat whilst we're doing that. Who's this outside? Oh, it's um, Eva Clark. I think we met her in the nightclub. And who's this? Matthew East. That's Julia's husband, who was just we just took a witness report from. Let's do some proper sciencey stuff by the look of it. Oh, we can't chat and do this at the same time. I thought we would, but never mind. We can chat once we've got our full day's work done. So we're quite good friends with Genesis and Lloyd. We don't really know Yusuf, Eric or Summer very well. Uh, add clues to the crime map. Let's do that then. Um, are you the boss? What are you doing sitting there? Oh, she's the chief. Oh, Is this why she doesn't wear a uniform. Maybe we need to schmooze up to Kayla. Sum up. Let's um, ask about your day. Brighten her day. Oh, the suspect is male. Okay. And we give her a heartfelt compliment. And let's cross reference the database. Hopefully they can talk across the computers. Wish. 
Yeah, Summer, she's a really, really gorgeous sim. Summer Holiday. And she's a detective. Mm. Oh, what's wrong? Who are you laughing at, Eric? <laughs> Let's give Eric a cheerful intro. Oh, she can do that whilst on the computer, so that's good. Let's uh, get to know him a little bit and we'll discuss some interests. Oh, we've completed our full day's work. Oh, he's materialistic too, like us. Let's have a little gossip about our co workers. Let's discuss the case with Summer. So we are looking for a clumsy male so far. Mm. Rebecca has enough clues to issue an APB at the crime map. Collecting more clues before issuing an APB will increase your ability to find the suspect. Okay, let's wait a little bit longer. Since um, a clumsy male isn't quite enough, I don't think. I love Summer, she's so gorgeous. I really like her hair. Oh, we want to analyse the evidence. Come on. Aww. As much as I like having a chat, we do need to get on with our work. Why is she walking like with her head like that? Genesis seems pretty happy with herself. She's like smiling away. Let's find a really, really good clue. What do we need to actually do for our job? Uh, we need to go on patrol. Okay, we could do that maybe. When we finish this and try and do a better patrol than we did last time. Okay, let's add the clues to the crime map. And let's see if we can go on patrol and see if we can get a uh, promotion today. That'd be awesome. I don't think she's going to. Maybe. We never know. Sorry if you can hear the, a rattling sound in the background. My cat has just jumped on the table. <laughs> we didn't do that. We didn't do that either. Oh, weird. Oh, maybe it's because we're chatting with Jennifer. Fair enough. Is she undercover? <laughs> oh, we reached charisma level six. That's really high. What are you doing, Genesis? Let's go and give uh, this lady a cheerful introduction. I've been to this bar before and I didn't realise there was a downstairs. Oh, it's a club. It's a club uh, door. I don't know which one this is, actually. We could probably check it out on the panel. Oops. It probably is the good timers, by the look of it. We're not allowed in there. <laughs> They're having a club gathering. We can't have happy hour drinks when we're um <laughs> when we're uh, on patrol. Well, that's I don't know how. <laughs> if there's a specific thing I should be doing, but uh, we'll just see. I guess. God, it's getting busy in here. Oh, 
I don't really feel like I'm on patrol, but we're chatting, so that's a good sign, I guess. Well, <laughs> I don't really know what we're supposed to be doing, but I guess we're we're getting the gossip from the community, so what's the harm? Oh, 351 uh, Smolians, and we did a fantastic job. There may be a shiny badge and a new title in her future. Awesome. Uh, I wish I didn't... Um, automatically send you home I wish it sort of gave you a choice stay here or go home but never mind we'll go home okay we've arrived back home let's see how our performance has changed oh yes we are definitely in for a promotion next time we go to work so let's get her to go to the toilet and see if there's anything in the fridge uh, we've got some premixed brownies, some fruit salad, and some garden salad. So we'll have some garden salad. And Reese, what are you up to? You are playing Sims Forever, okay. Maybe we should have a club gathering since he wants to do that. Um, let's just check. There's nothing else we need to do. Now, I think we're going to, hmm, now do we have a powerhouse gathering or a medics gathering? Let's have a medics gather, gathering since we don't know these people. And we're going to gather at the cafe. Medics club has started gathering. Okay. So, hmm, they all seem to be, what do we do in our club? I don't even remember. Oh, no, that's the wrong club. We like to do spa activities, work out, use science objects, drink coffee and eat. Okay, he's pretty hungry so let's get him to eat. He's going to order food. Uh, let's order a croissant. So we have... Jose, Paxton and Raiden in our group. So let's have a little chat with Paxton. We'll give him a cheerful intro. Oh look, and uh... Oh, Marcus is here. Marcus is always around. Maybe we should bring Rebecca here so she's not left out. Um, and let's get you... Maybe let's see if she wants to go on a date with... Um, Mm, change outfit. Mm -hmm. Why is that in our formal outfit? That's strange. Yeah, let's just change into some everyday wear. So I said at the end of the last part, um, Rebecca's going to basically say to um, Marcus that she thinks they shouldn't play games anymore and they just need to, um, you know, stop beating around a bush and find out if they like each other or not. So let's get her to head straight over and she's going to give him a compliment. So Marcus is coming over by the look of it. Oh no, he's not. He's oh, he's gonna sit with Reese. So we're going to. She's gonna confess her attraction to him. She's gonna say, "Look, Marcus, I really like you. Do you want to make a go of it properly?" Stop chatting with everybody, it's awkward. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, this cat, man. Sorry, guys. The cat is just walking around in circles on the table, vibrating it. Come on, down you get. <laughs> he's a big bruiser for Tomcat, so he's very heavy. Um, Rebecca, you need to sort of seal the deal with Marcus, I think. Um, ask on a date. Let's just do it. Let's talk about the medics. <laughs> I really want the date just to be here, but uh, where are we gathered actually? I'm not even sure. Oh dear, this is not good. Um, <laughs> I'm not even sure where we are. Uh, let's just say the hare and the hedgehog then. We can bring Reese and his crew. Uh, Reese is at the south sw south square. Yeah, so let's start a gathering. Right, Rebecca, let's see if we can sit together. What are they doing? Because I haven't told them to do anything. Ooh, whisper seductively. I'm just going to let them go with the flow and see what happens. Oh, Marcus! Keep walking away from us. Uh, Lydia's home from work, so let's bring Lydia here. Oh, Lydia needs a toilet. So I'm going to let Lydia and Reese just do what they want to do. And let's concentrate on Rebecca and Barkus. Let's give him an embrace. Oh, that was quite cute. Joke about old time. Do you remember that time I flirted with another guy in front of you to make you jealous? Yeah, good times, good times. So Reese is just doing some sit-ups and Lydia's going to the toilet. Reese, you should really socialise with your um your group. Oh Lydia's just gonna go and play computer games. She's so antisocial, bless her. Oh well, if that's what you want to do, play video games in the bathroom at a social gathering then, so be it. Oh, Lydia had a breakthrough. Red hot serum. Click on the notebook button to the top of the phone menu to learn more about it. Um... Oh, she needs some basil for it. Awesome! She had a breakthrough. That is so cool. I'm so pleased. So let's get her to head downstairs and order some food. Ah, oh, she can't. Darn it! Rebecca, you really need to go to the toilet. This date with Marcus is not working out how I wanted it to. She's too busy getting into group conversations. Oh dear. Oh, we found out Paxton is an art lover. Let's talk about the medics, see how he's feeling about it, and we'll flatter him, and we'll discuss fitness techniques, discuss interest again, and we'll brighten his day. Uh, let's compliment Marcus's outfit, and flatter him. Can we order some food now? It looks like we can. Reese, you need to go to the bathroom as well.
Oh, Marcus. <laughs> You're supposed to be on a date with us, not hanging with these bros. He's like, nah, I'd rather sit here with my mates and sp spend a night with the young lady. You got your priorities wrong, Marcus. Right, Reese is walking away, so hopefully Paxton disappears and we can get him out of the. Let's gossip with Marcus. And I feel like we need to get flirty, so let's blow him a kiss and see how he feels about that. Oh, he's found it funny, whatever we said. Okay, so we completed that, so we're not going to absolutely fail our date, because <laughs> that would be bad. Oh, us to be boyfriend? No, I don't think we are. I don't think there's anything serious between these two. I think they're just a bit naughty. Just want to have a bit of fun. I'm going to give him a kiss. Um, uh, let's hold hands with him. And we're going to sit and chat. And let's do a sexy pose. Become best friends? I don't think they're really best friend materials. Oh, she wants to woohoo. Reese, why are you doing push ups? Have some food. Um, so let's, we need to give him a massage. Uh, let's tell him a joke, let's tell him a dirty joke. And offer him a massage. Let's give him a passionate kiss. So it took a while to get going, but at least they seem to be properly on a date now, so that's good. And we're going to joke about old times. Again. Oh, these guys are having a nice time. How's Reese getting on with his co-workers? Oh, he knows Paxton quite well. Oh, these two are having a right old laugh, aren't they? God. She's got a bit of a cackle on her, hasn't she, Rebecca? <laughs> the medics is a great place to hang out. Reese Chester is a visionary leader. Nice. Well, at least we got a gold medal date. So let's... Um. Mm. Deep conversation. And let's do another one. Who's this? Raiden. Okay, I think we're going to end the date there. Legendary date. There is something special in the Sims household inventory to help remember it. Nice. Okay, so let's send Reese home. Let's send Lydia home. And let's... Hmm. All right, yeah, why not? Let's invite... Um... Do, do, do. Let's... Oh, we're definitely not going to ask him to move in. That's a little bit too fast. I want to, um... 
invite to stay the night. Hmm. Maybe we just need to travel. Nope, we don't do that. We're going to travel with Marcus. I thought he was disappearing then, but I think he's joining us, so that's fine. I thought he was just like walking away. Uh, so let's go home. This part's getting a bit long, so I think I'll end it after we've arrived back at home and we're going to let uh, Marcus and Rebecca woohoo I think just finish off the date and I don't know whether they'll continue to see each other or they basically got it out of their system and yeah so let's see uh oh we're supposed to Reese is supposed to be here he's gonna have to sleep here tonight um Lydia can sleep in her usual bed do we have a picture of Rebecca and Marcus I'm not sure Ooh, going through the walls here I don't think we do. No. Let's get them to take a picture together anyway. Um, do we have a camera? I think we do. So we're going to take a photo with Marcus. Oh, it's a bit dark. We might have to do it in the house. This we can use a filter. Oop. That's a bit better. That will do. So we're going to woohoo with Marcus and then I think I'm going to end the part there so thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this one I've completely lost my schedule of where um where uh, I am with people going to work um when I loaded the lot it popped up does do you want to go to work with Rebecca and I just clicked yeah why not so um I'll try and get into a better schedule here they go <laughs> Marcus with his pink boxes and his heart top he's in the mood yeah, so thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will join you in the next part. Please drop any comments below and give this video a massive thumbs up if you enjoyed it. That would be awesome and I'll see you then. Bye!